belt jacket up. <laughs> this morning, Mike took me, uh, the other Mike, himself, and Peter, and Conrad, to a live, uh, live fire steam boiler event by Wild McLean, and the boiler is piped with Pyrex, uh, glass tubing, so you can see all the see the steam in the header. You can see the difference between when it's restricted and when it's not restricted and the effect that like having cold water come into the boiler has on the steam and you can actually see the, the steam being made in the heat exchanger. So here's a few clips from that and about ounces and that's sometimes all you need is ounces these are in pounds and they're not very accurate so I have this actually set on two ish two and a half maybe with a one differential so I should be shutting off at three and a half but it's shutting off at five so you, you see they're not very accurate this one I got jacked up to about maybe six ish um, six pounds of pressure maybe five or six uh, right there, as a backup uh, eight almost I'm not sure yet which line corresponds to which number, but you have a nine, they got a number right below nine, then you got the eight, and you're looking at so it's they're not very accurate or representative, let's say. Anyway, we're off on a five pounds of pressure. So again, pressure is not your answer. Mm -hmm. When you have a lot of pressure, you're gonna see mm -hmm. what five pounds of pressure will do to you when they open this valve. Now, on a commercial building, you might have a zone valves. They might open and close. You want slow opening zone valves. Typically, not fast opening zone valves, um, but I'm going to do it a little slow and then fast and we'll see what happens. Is it, and I'm not boiling right now, right? Yep. But I, I'm at steam. You see as soon as I open this and the pressure drops, the burner is off. I'm not putting any more BTUs in there right now. It's, I'm still absorbing some of it through the cast iron, but you're going to see that water start boiling immediately when I take the pressure off it. That's what you don't want to do in your steam system, right? You don't want to condensate it in your mains and your radiators. Yeah, that's sick, my lord. Crazy or what? Five pounds of pressure. That's what we all came here for, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. There's not going to be any water left. Huh? You're not going to have any water no, left. It's going to feed, and like I said, now, um, you know. Might be a little scary when it starts uh, knocking. <laughs> the burner's off right now, so hopefully it doesn't knock too badly when it starts feeding. Once it settles down, then it's gonna probably be really nice. Crazy to drive back to uh, where we came from. I know. <laughs> what? Great day. Listen, you only get, 
you never get you never get a chance to see this. Have, we host it in your pool, in your uh, in your lake. We might have a pool though. See, I promise a pool party, not a lake party. <laughs> so right now we are steaming. It's all dry steam. Nothing in the pipe. You can see a little bit of condensate coming back, but look at the discharge. That is your dry steam. See, we're violently exploding inside. There's nothing in the pipe right now. Just dry steam. Lunch, discharge. All right, so you guys are stuck with me. It's still absorbing energy, right? It's running, it's running, but it's still, it's still absorbing that energy. It's getting up there. It's, it's, uh, the water is getting up there. supercharged with, with uh, the steam bubbles. So now it's going to pour the water up out of the oil. I don't control it with my building. It's uh, my vent valve. It's my air vent. It's got free rain. It's going to be able to get a little crazy. Ha, 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 ha. 